Good day everyone, welcome to another episode of Keepsakes, the podcast. And it's actually my uh, podcast episode just just before Otaku Musica Festival and perhaps my birthday <laughs> on the 24th. So yeah, I'm turning uh, 24 on the 24th and I'm just about to reach one more year before the so-called quarter life crisis but yeah i'm i'm going to give a special throwback episode this time because what i'm going to share are some of, of uh, this uh, i'm going to share one special throwback uh, during my time as an intern at the philippine broadcasting service uh, this was at the time of uh, uh, just just before president duterte uh, entered no uh, this is around 2015 really uh the next one will feature my discussion with uh edrel and marco and alan from the raymaro files all about con fatigue this is an ongoing discussion and uh by far uh i still have a few things to consider before i uh say my thoughts again and the last one is actually an unfulfilled uh, episode because this one here is our discussion with justin you know the wow thanos uh the lord god thanos very very lucky thanos and we call him that basically because it's just that lucky so yeah enjoy this podcast and do share your thoughts either through anchor or online just let me know tag me at jagon and twitter so with that welcome to another episode of keepsakes the podcast for our first segment i'm going to share to you bits of the discussion that i did with the raymaro files all about con fatigue and uh, they got my side as a staff for events but uh i told them that this is pure purely my personal statements and not the statements of the company i'm representing so uh, i'll put in that disclaimer again Uh, this is purely my statements, purely my experiences regarding these things. And uh, this is just a uh, bits and pieces of the whole show. You can see it on Facebook. Uh, it's part of the RF Talks uh, discussion series no? of the Raymaro Files. And with me is Edral D, the, the former Anchan Primus uh, from Onigay Onichan. And Marco Villaluz, uh, he's currently with Jetter, but he's been known before uh, in cosplay events. So yeah, uh, that uh, goes the introductions. Let's get with the clip. I don't agree with Marco's statements that it's a uh, good development, uh, but uh, then again, um, yes, it is a good development because there is an audience. A good development because it's a springboard for new ideas on how to get the audience to that. You know, um, every event has its own concept. And uh, as uh, my boss was saying, events are events because they are ever-changing. Now, uh, it is a bad development though for the organizers because they have to challenge themselves what new content they will face. Or for example, um, we've had different concepts, uh, local idols, 3D idols, 2D idols, and uh, the comics and the indie artists, so on and so forth. So um, also, it's uh, uh, why, say, uh, why I say it's a bad development because events uh, kumbaga if there's a new event it's open to comparison with the previous events yeah, that have that's very been. true <laughs> yeah. it's open to comparison and yes oversaturation definitely so question number two how do you hear and act feedback act on feedback 
from your respective communities. Jay, let's start with you. All right. So uh, as with me, I uh, having been through the, these events as either media or as a visitor or even as a staff, I do hear or see feedback from social media because most uh, most people that I know, some people that I know, do post their feedback on Facebook. They even have the time to recommend or not recommend an event uh, on its Facebook pages. So that's very crucial for. Uh, I I can say that's very crucial for the event organizers and for staff like me especially na i am on that field i am part of that team and uh, also word of mouth syempre word of mouth hindi mawawala yan is is uh, word of mouth is also a great factor uh, for example if i recommend this event they will recommend it to others uh, my friends will recommend it to others something like that uh, uh, same as uh, the uh, of recommendations okay The part na, di ba, from the photo shoots, uh, we do not want a um, bit more crowded uh, space. At the same time, uh, those people who attend uh, events on, uh, only attend for camaraderie. Most of them, I believe, kasi I've been part of it too. Part ako ng Team Labas dati. Mm-hmm. I know how it is to be one somehow. And I know that I'm there for my friends, uh, to meet new friends, to meet my same friends. And going inside the event, I, I'm not so sure uh, kasi there's a paywall eh paywall in the border eh. there's paywall bordering that eh. so if the content is really that great I'll go inside pero if not I'll stay outside and be swatted by the security because the purpose of the security is to maintain crowd control din eh uh, although sometimes they do exceed because we exceed the crowd space so that's, that's the situation uh, that I'm looking um, for the photo shoots, naman, compared to going in the events as Team Labas, those who go to photo shoots have open spaces, cosplayers can freely roam around somehow. Uh, for example, the, the likes of the uh, New York Aquino Parks and Wildlife, the Pasig Grave, the Makati, uh, some park in Makati, uh, some, something like that. You know, it's, uh, it's somehow related to borderline claustrophobia, if, if that's a phrase. <laughs> <laughs> borderline cost of money because eh, kasi di ba ako kung ako cosplayer tapos malaki yung armor ko and I want to do a photo I want to have my picture taken sana ako pipili sa crowded na space na sinisita ako ng gwardiya o doon sa open space na kahit pag investan ko na kahit pag ko na at least open yung space I'm there uh, with my fellow photographers my friend photographers di ba okay that's those are the sentiments that, that I, uh, that's what I see in my viewpoint So, what do you normally hear from your circles about how these conventions seem to be getting smaller? Because uh, some conventions seem to try to scale up real big and then suddenly they shrink. Uh, or sometimes they start out big and then they shrink. There seems to be a running uh, theme lately. Uh, I think uh, there's external factors. Ano? Uh, should I mention the rising oil prices that contributed to ano, something, something political, something? <laughs> <laughs> But really, really, really. Uh, also, the inflation rate. Uh, medyo kinabahan na ako. Nalaman ko na is in inflation rate. No, no doubt. It also, um, rising prices contributed to rising pri- rates in renting the boots, rising rates in operating the area, rising rates in everything. So, organizers have to g- get the most out of their budget uh, just to secure a space. Uh, to so much that they might have uh, sacrificed yung convi- uh, yung parang uh, other spaces na available na pwede pa na kunin to allocate it to say some of the people some of the resources na kailangan pambayaran so um, conventions are businesses that's a fact I definitely I definitely agree with uh, Marcos' statement no? kasi uh, having lived as a visitor again I- I'm currently writing on weekends but I'm staffing on uh, on events, uh, uh, some major events, some business events. Uh, what I see here is that people should understand the plight of the event organizers, and uh, that in that way, may explain namin sa kanila kung gaano kahirap mag-organize ng event. 
and yeah, how, 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 huge, how, how huge the costs are, how long is the time to uh, prepare for these things, pre-event, post-event, uh, event proper, these things, uh, hindi ito basta-basta maintindihan by looking at the viewpoint of a populist uh, or a, say a uh, con-goer or even team labas definitely. Or, they will not understand. Once they understand this, they will uh, do efforts to uh, to appreciate kung ano man yung event. Um, again, from Team Labas, naging Team Loob, from Team Loob, I constantly buy my own tickets. Uh, that's that, ano, especially now, I'm much more uh, juicy in picking events. Ano. Pero definitely, you'll see me in the next event. <laughs> Jake, give, give me a, like, a, like for people to understand, maybe. Uh, let's say we're booking a big guest or a, a big personality. How much preparation does that take in terms of maybe months? Okay, let's say the minimum is three months. It can also take up to a year. Uh, depende sa kung sinong guest yan. Um, some events, some major events, do start their uh, preparations a day or a week after. No? So that's around a year of preparations and all that. That, that that's cool. That goes well with the major events that are happening and uh, are occupying more than three, four holes of SMX. So, a week after, it's totally possible for an event just a week after it ended to start planning for its next event the following year. Yes, yes. Kumbaga, after they after they just finished that event, they'll start preparing for it. Okay. They'll start meetings, hundreds of meetings, and it uh, of course inviting guests. Uh, let's say we can imagine uh, that's around uh, 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 more than one thirds, two thirds, uh, or yeah, one thirds of the whole cost of the event. Setting aside the majority is mapupunta sa uh, expenses sa event, sa okay. venue and all that. Anyway, the final question. The convention scene, do we see it dying or maybe transforming under this match saturation? Jay, let's start with you. Uh, yes, it, it will transform either way uh, because events come and go, ideas come and go. One day there's this uh, event about 2D idols, now we have 3D idols, and then 3D idols will, uh, let's say 3D idols will occupy the full talk of the town, it will evolve and evolve and evolve, add new concepts. And yeah, there's a niche for each, uh, there's, there's a uh, specific niche audience that events organizers can tap on. So I believe, yun nga, it, uh, 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 on, my opi- on my perspective, it will transform uh, regardless of it will da- uh, or uh, regardless of uh, which event will pass away or move on or which event will thrive and succeed. Okay, can you can you maybe give me an idea of what you think is gonna be the uh, like? Okay, ABCC is happening, ESG is happening. What do you think is the next big convention that might catch on the eyes of everyone? Yeah, as for me, uh, personally, uh, Cosplay Mania has been thriving and uh, they're there for 10 years. Toycon uh, will have its uh, 18th year next year. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, those those major events, it won't die. It will just add new concepts. Uh, na to, uh, uh, these events are stepping up the game and I, uh, as a witness to this madness, no? <laughs> uh, the, these this way, add and add and add and add to to add to first exceed people's expectations, to set people's expectations, or to at least get the uh, get the people going. Event experiences, these experiences are best cherished, best appreciated when people know the insights and outsides. And all. so, yes, I do encourage people to know the insights and uh, outsides of uh, each event then then from there they will be wiser to pick ah this is for me ah this is not for me but for uh, another audience something like that
now that uh, you've heard me perhaps uh, doing my stuff actually the backstory of that is that uh, i just got off from the word camp manila uh word camp manila victory party perhaps <laughs> or after party rather at center stage makati but then again uh, the environment's quite a bit noisy the signals not quite okay and with that i have to go somewhere else unfortunately i'm i'm just that loud <laughs> i'm just that loud to make a scene uh, you, you, if you, you if you talk to me i can be very proactive so what happens is that i go walk uh walk and eventually i just ended up walking to uh, the Buendia L, uh, MRT station and then eventually riding a bus so this is quite a bit noisy and I stopped by a green, at Greenfield to complete just to complete that and it's 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 not it's not the way uh people or guests do this it's it's, it's just purely me and I'm uh, I do apologize to everyone for that now but you can listen to the whole discussion on Facebook. It's just that I put in, of course, this is my space. And I, I leave the the rest to the full episode, which is up on the Raymer Files Facebook page. Okay, so uh, for our next segment, I'm going to share to you a discussion. This is a simple discussion that I had with uh, Justin. Uh, this is outside the Cinema 6 of SM Mall of Asia. And this was at a time where I was covering Anifes. And uh, so to say, I, I have to tell you this, uh, this one again. I think I'm the only one who covered that. And yeah, so I, I guess you get a hint. Now, uh, for this one, uh, this is uh, just a week or so post. Uh, 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 just after he shared his sentiments about uh the fans on facebook so it's, it's it's a casual discussion really so i'll give you the clip and you share your thoughts with me okay here's the clip okay hi justin it's been a long time i actually promised this podcast uh, but then again uh, we were able to meet right here dito ko nagagawin yung Pinag, so it's been yeah. it's been a long time. You've been, you've been a, it's been an accelerating ride for you. Because okay, you 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 freaking laksak. You got passes to see Giorgio Socalos at History Con, and now you got your pass to Anifest, which we, we, you will be using tomorrow, yes. the next day. So, <laughs> prior to this, we have discussed about your rant about hmm. basically this community. Oh, oh yeah. Think? So yeah. Um, coming from that, it's been weeks since that happened. Yeah. What's up? Actually, a few days. Mm-hmm. I almost have nothing to say from what transpired. Could see, well, almost we cannot do anything about it because some people have uh, other priorities and such. But what? Uh, what from diverts from away from it is or exacerbates is particularly the two events taking place at the same time as well which are HistoryCon and Anifest right now which are on the, the same day as today's Aqua Third Life and uh, speaking of uh, there's also uh, this delayed live viewing is not only happening here at Mall of Asia, it's also happening at Mega Mall. I don't know with the Mega Mall guys, but I think the reception is much better there. Yeah. Although the the Mega Mall may be a better uh, venue for many livers, I would think this venue would suit better considering for the people who also went to Anifes or History Con today. Mm. Okay. So, so come, going back from the discussion. Uh, let's let's give a recap. Uh, this community has been like this, and we, for, with all due respect to the parties involved, we now have gatekeepers. Yeah. We now have people who are. I I don't know. Um, I I'm not really sure if uh, the right words are claiming or representing the community and all that. 
bandwagoners and such and really friends like I am a part of this community and I feel alienated no joke yeah so what do you think of this no no idea because considering that the community has divided especially from several fandoms that have become widespread around the world already okay um we have here situations like say um this community right here uh, has a community of people who would like to uh, the protect, defend the uh, characters, the idols themselves, and uh, there's this guy who posted the collaboration. You know the uh, map of collaboration art. I would guess that's Grand Blue Fantasy X Love Life Sunshine, right? Yes, but here's the thing. Uh, speaking of Grand Blue Fantasy, Love Life Sunshine. Of course, with respect to the Love Life Sunshine universe. Or the uh, school idol, uh, school idol festival project itself. We we respect that there are no guys there. There are no guys. There's no representation. No there. guys, definitely. No guys. But there's Grand Blue Fantasy, and you know Grand Blue Fantasy, um, for some reason made it happen that this women only community or women only universe uh, was able. They were able to port it to Grand Blue Fantasy, although with some minor tweaks. Uh, for example, in the game, with respect, uh, they have informed the GBF players that in respect to this uh, universe or this franchise, they are only women, so much better if uh, you, you try to switch your character from male to female. Well, it's possibly on the player's choice. Possibly it could be a... But the difference may possibly be... The fact that females do have huge agility and accuracy more than than what males do. Possibly similar to many games that I've already seen. Now I ha I um I do not have any problem with the change and all that. I do not even play Grand Blue Fantasy, so I cannot even comment on that. What I can say is that prior to this People are, some people are saying, this community is cancer, this community, I hate this community, and all that. You have been here for how many years? It all started with the very first season of Muse back in 2013. So 2013, it's been five years, and you've seen a lot of this. How did you stay so long? Uh, I decided to ignore the facts why... The fan base is completely like that and just decided to chill in my own ways because after all this love life has been a major factor to me in my life especially that it's one of my core fandoms I became part of right now. And uh, chances are you've been popular you yourself have been popular through this uh, school idol project, uh, school idol festival project. So, um, and that, that this goes to everyone who is not. This is not just for love life. This goes to anyone who is sick and tired of their uh, fellow fans who are either being cancerous for a lack of term or. Well, with all due respect again to the gatekeepers, gate, the gatekeeping, yes. But yeah, he that's 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 my, those are many things. This is a community. It is inevitable for everyone to be somehow conflicted and somehow stick together. So um, I on my end, if it's really worth your time to enjoy this specific franchise, these specific franchises then who's stopping you? If you're not happy, you can leave. If you're not happy, you can go hermit. Yeah, hermit is the way. And this is a hermit I'm speaking to. He is a hermit. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, 
I guess that's about it. We had uh, lost count of the situation uh, prior to the weeks before inviting Justin to have a few words actually here in the podcast. So I I'll be seeing you everywhere. How, how, how what are your powers? Are you any? How what are those alien sorcery powers? <laughs> I just went from history counts, mysteries of the past, finishing the session. And once I opened up my cell phone, I didn't notice that I already won. I've won a pass for tomorrow's anime event that I am bound to attend. And I mean, what the heck? Possibly, is this something to do with? with the ancient idol powers or is that my wife who possibly uh, passed my her very own power to me or is it something else it must be something else you lock sack well, okay yeah that, yeah that's for that's it for justin thank you very much and it's already 2 20 you have 40 minutes left well, I'll be going back to SMX now. Yes. And I'll be hearing you from you soon again, huh? Right, sure. See you. See you, man. See ya. See you turned out. Alright, so that was our discussion. My discussion with the Justin Diwao Thanos uh, Baliao. And he's, he's pretty much very proactive in that community so far. He's been to idol concerts and cosplay events name it he's also doing vip stuff so i i believe he has his fortune stone i guess maybe maybe so yeah uh the last discussion or the last clip that i will share to you is a throwback and among the places i've that i've uh, interned to i am very happy with the philippine broadcasting service and i'm really thankful to those who recommended this to me and I'm happy that I was able to share my thoughts. This is me still supporting the World Cosby Summit. And eventually, uh, the, the story is basically, uh, I, I, I wrote it down during uh, my time. Just prior to the uh, broadcast of the Youth Talk radio show on the, uh, the Radio Nambayan, the then Radio Nambayan, um, I believe the show has been moved to Radio Magazine and then eventually it has been, I, I don't know what's, uh, what happened afterwards, eh? maybe it's on Radio Pilipinas. So hopefully, hopefully, I am unable to catch up with stuff. So this is me along with uh, our co-interns at the boot with Mama Renz and uh, her co-host. So yeah. Uh, that's basically you talk it's it's a show for done done for uh the interns i guess so yeah uh it's quick 30 minutes quick one hour it's it's act it's if you think about it it's actually a very quick one eh? so yeah without further ado here uh, are uh here's here's me <laughs> during my uh stay at the you talk radio show Ay, babati ko siya ano no. Mo. Babati yung mga taga ICT colleges, babati yung mga taga uh, mga nakikinig, yung mga ni-refer ko dito galing sa Deremo eh. Ah, uh, oh, pia- yon, uh, babatiin ko rin yung babaeng multo sa pabebe girl si Vel Garbes, kaklase ko siya. Ay nako, ha may pabebeng multo. Oh, nakakatawa din. Ay babaeng multo. Oh. Babaeng multo, pabebe. Yun, ay, buti na lang hindi babaeng bakla. <laughs> <laughs> pabebeng girl. Pabebe girl. Ayun tayo. Yan, at babatiin ko rin, uh, yun nga, uh, yung mga nakikinig sa atin dito sa Radyo ng Bayan sa 32 stations natin sa buong Pilipinas. Ayan. Ay, si Girlie di pabati daw. Yeah! <laughs> Alam na this. <laughs> Okay, sunod naman natin sa kanyang U-Report. Yes, next naman natin si Jay Agona sa kanyang U-Report about World Cosplay Summit 2015. Oh, ayan, yung mga mahilig mag-cosplay, ha? Oh, pero bago may bigay yung report no, Jay, ano ba ang cosplay para malaman ng ating mga listeners? Cosplay, cosplay costume portrayal. So, 
hindi ka lang naka-costume, ina-acto mo din kung ano yung character na kinosplay mo. Kinosplay mo, kung ano yung costume na ginamit mo. Pero sa cosplay, kailangan eksakto yung costume mo dun sa ginagaya, ginagaya. mo. As much as possible. Uh, pwedeng ano, mag-mix and match ka. Parang ako, halimbawa, gusto ko si ano ko, si Darna na may kasamang ano, uh, sino ka? Ako? Oh, si Sailor Moon. Pwede ba ako mag na na Sailor Moon ng dati? Hindi marami mag-react. Marami mag-react. Ah, marami mag-react. Marami nag-react. Marami ano. Marami nag-react. So, kailangan talaga pagka-cosplayer ka kung sino ka. yung kinagaya mo yun lang. Hindi yes, ka pwede mag-mix yes. and match. Kasi yes, pag nakita yes, ka, yun yung ta- pwede pwede mag-iita sa'yo. si Wonder sa'yo. Woman pero nakadar na rin ako na outfit. Ah, ah, ang kulit. <laughs> ang kulit ka rin. Ano? Siya, sino ka? Wonder Woman. Bakit naka-ano ka? Bakit meron kang ano? Dar na. Ganyan. Eh, kasi Pinoy ako. <laughs> Nangigalap ka. <laughs> Nang away. Ayun. So, ang cosplay talaga, kailangan makapikat mo ng maayos yung costume yes. na ginagamit yes, po. mo. Kung, kung pwede kahit yung buhok, tsaka mm-hmm. yung, ano, yung mata, mata ganyan, lahat. lahat. Ganyan. Yes po. Okay, so, ito na. Ibigay mo na. Ano ba ang World Cosplay Summit ngayong 2015? Naganap ang World Cosplay Summit 2015 sa Nagoya, Japan sa nakalipas na linggo kung saan iba't ibang mga kinatawan mula sa walong bansa ang nagtipon-tipon dito sa, yun nga, sa Nagoya, Japan. Kabilang sa mga bansang kasali sa naturang pagdiriwang ay ang Estados Unidos, Brazil, Russia, Hapon, Alemanya, Italia, Hong Kong at Mexico. May kinatawan ng Pilipinas sa summit, ang Team XO na nanggaling sa lungsod ng Davao. Sa loob ng isang linggo ay tumungo sila sa iba't ibang lugar kabilang na ang pagtungo sa mga opisina ng mga opisyal ng pamahalaan ng, ng Nagoya at noong Sabado naganap ang WCS 2015 Cosplay Championship kung saan ibinida ng mga kinatawan ang kanila mga palabas. Ang koponan mula sa Mexico ang itinanghal na kampiyon sa naturang patimpalak kasunod ng Italia at Estados Unidos sa ikalawa at ikatlong pwesto. Ang WCS ay taunang ginaganap sa Nagoya simula pa noong taong 2003. Ito ay sinusuporta ng lokal na pamahalaan ng Bansang Apon. Ayun. So, anong in-outfit ng ano, Bansang Mexico na nagwagi as na- number one? Si, ano sinong ginaya nila? Ang skit nila ay galing sa isa sa mga, nakakat na, isa sa mga uh, editions ng... Uh, Zelda, Legend of Zelda. Mm, na, parang ang, alam ko eh, no? Ang oh, sinasabi, yun yun. Ang sinasabi ni, <laughs> ng mga kasama namin ay... Kaya ba Sailor Moon dyan? <laughs> Hanggang Sailor Moon lang alam natin. <laughs> oh. Sino si Zelda? Zelda... Um, kapatid Le- ni Celia. <laughs> ang babae sa bintana. Pwede rin po. <laughs> Ginulo. Ang Legend of Zelda mm-hmm. isang laro sa... Uh, na uso pa noon mga, mga 1990s pa na po. Mm-hmm. At yung, kinos, yung ginawa nila sa skit nila ay isa daw sa pinakanakatakot na oh, eksena sa, sa, sa buong yun. series ng Legend of Zelda. Mm-hmm. Ang laki nga ng props nila, umabot, uh, yung, yung una pa lang na uh, preliminary nila sa Mexico. Uh, umabot Ang taray na, yung Mexico talagang sumali sa cosplay. Yes. Normally, kasi alam ko Asian yan eh. Yes po. Japan, Korea, Karami yung mga ganyan. US. Ah, meron din US. Ah, ano yung pangalawa ay yung Estados Unidos? Ah, hindi, Italia tapos Italia, Estados Unidos. Italia, ang kinos, ang ginawa nila ay eksena mula sa Neon Genesis Evangelion mm-hmm. at ang sa USA, Paradise Kiss. Which, ang ganda ng paradise, ang ganda ng ginawa nila sa Paradise Kiss. Instant paradise costume. Kiss? Uh, oh, paradise Kiss. Puro lalaki pala siya. yung ano, no? Celia. Uh, Babae? Ah, uh, Celda. Celia oh, doon. Lalaki, <laughs> puro... Celia. Lalaki sila parehos. Lalaki ba yan? Parang babae. Yung Zelda na panood ko sa munting lupa. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. <laughs> yung lang din alam ko eh. <laughs> Cosplay na pala yun. Ayan, ako ha. Nakakaaliw naman to, no? Talagang gagayahin pati buho. Yes, lahat yes, po. Itsura, di ba? Yes, kaya sobrang mm-hmm. ano yung magastos yan, mamaya. Paano yan? Ang lalaki na mata niya, pinalaki din nila yes. mata nila. Yes, kung ang tutusin. <laughs> Ayan. Okay, maraming salamat sa UJ. Thank you din po, Mama Renz. Na ICCT College. Nakakaaliw naman tong cosplay na to. Sa pagpapatuloy ng ating programa, bigay na natin ang ating pangatlong youth talker sa kanyang U.S. Yes, ang last na mag U.S. ay si Jay. Six ways to start to paying yourself first. Yun. Hmm. Ano nga ba ibig sabihin nun, Jay? 
Pag tumanda ka na, siguro, baka wala Aray, ka ng pera noon. That's why you have <laughs> to pay yourself first na. from now. Oo, so, oh, paano mag-ipon at mag-impok, di ba? Yan. Oh, um, habang kayo'y bata pa. Yan. Oh, parang yung ano yan eh, uh, pay it forward. <laughs> Ang gulo. <laughs> Ayan po, uh, Mama Renz, Ate Jen, simulan natin, shared from I, Oh, binayara mo na ng advance. Oh, para pagtanda mo, meron kang pera. <laughs> Ayan. Ay, Sige na daw, nagsisimula na daw si Jay. Mm-hmm. Yun, si share natin mula sa imoney.ph, develop a morning ritual, keep a piggy bank. Kung wala ka, na, kung wala ka pang uh, uh, say savings account, kung hindi ka pa nakapag-apply ng savings account, best of, ang oh, best wala ka pang bank account, oo. Oh, oh. Ang best Magawa of, ka muna ng piggy bank. Yes po. Mm-hmm. Kung wala ka ng piggy bank, doon may ipunin yung bariya mo. Oh, hindi kailangan na ano, ha, bumili ka ng baboy. Yes po. Mm-hmm. Totoong baboy. <laughs> hindi mo naman hulugan yung totoong baboy. Ako na rin akong piggy bank, pero piggy bank ko yung ano, bote ng 2 liters ng ano, Sa akin, ano ng na? soft drink. Sa suko yung nuhulog yung ano ko, mga bariya ko. Puno na nga eh. Sa parang gusto ka ng ano, glass-glassin. <laughs> parang box lang siya. Ganun oh, ako yung ano, bati ng soft drinks. Parang talaga hindi na nahuhugot. Pero nag, naglalagay din ako ng mga 20-20-50-50. Oh. Pero sabi nga sa akin ng friend ko, ay naku, ipapalitan mo na sa bangko yan kasi bawal lang mag-store ng maraming coins. Mm. At baka luma mm-hmm. na po yung mga, mga paper oh, oh. bills dyan. Kaya nga. Okay, number two. Make short to medium term savings goals. Kasi hindi mo kayang mag- long-term savings goals agad-agad. Hindi mo kayang bumili ng bahay agad-agad. Mm-hmm. Uh, kung, diba? kung ngay- ngayong sa panahon nito, eh, makakapag-save ka lang ng pang-camera mo, pang-ticket mo sa mga events. Yan. Mga concert. Mga concert. Concerts and conventions. O, tsaka, wow. ano, yung treat yourself for a spa treatment. Yung True. Mga ganun. Yun ang mga short Mm-mm. Savings goal. O kaya, uh, bili ka ng isang goal. magandang bag de medyo mahal ng konte para mas matagal ang buhay. Yeah. O kaya, ipunin mo na lang sa savings account mo. <laughs> Pero the best talaga is uh, mag-ipun ka para naman meron kang hugutin in, in case of emergency. Ayan, lalo pa kung hindi pa kalakayan ng sweldo mo at nag-uumpisa ka pa lang, ano? Ouch talaga. Oo. Okay pangatlo. Save your Instacash. If you don't have debt to pay off and while it is tempting to splurge, deposit it instead. Oo, kung wala ka pang utang, katulad ni Ate Jen, Ha? Huh? Na malapit na mabaon. Ow! Hindi <laughs> pa naman. Hindi pa naman. Hindi pa naman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hindi. Alam mo, mas mainam yung utang free ka. Mm-mm. I-practice nyo yan habang bata kayo. Huwag kayo masanay nangungutang. Ouch. Ako utang free ako. Kaya wala akong sakit ng ulo. Ang hirap kayo pag may utang ka, no? Lalo na pag siningil ka. Tapos wala ka pang bayad. Sasagutin mo lang, K. <laughs> Magbayad ka na! K! K. <laughs> Puro ka na lang, K. K. Masa K lang ng K? Oo, hindi nakaka-ano, nakaka-stress. True. Diba? Kaya ako hindi ako, nag- hindi ako nag-credit pere. card. Hindi ako nag-ganyan-ganyan. Wala rin Oo. ako niyan. Ako, Para nakasunod. wala ako sakit ng ulo. Kasi nakaka-tempt eh. I have... Mm-mm. Buti na lang talaga habang bata ako no, nakita ko na yung mga kaibigan ko kasi older than me mga friends ko Mm-mm. na nang, nangungunsumi sa credit card. Kahit yung may mag-aalok sa akin, ayoko nga, ayoko matulad doon sa kaibigan ko na halos mo ospital na sa stress. <laughs> oh, eh, di ba? Yung hanggang opisina raw, tinatawagan siya ng credit collector kasi magbahid ka na. Kung hindi, pakukulong kita yung mga ganun. Oh. Di ba? Nakaka-stress Mm-mm. yun. Ayan. Kaya ako bata pa, nasanay na ako, ayoko na may utang-utang. Eh, kasi na- na- nasayahan sila sa mga... Correct. Ako nga yung piso ng utang swipe. sa tindahan, hindi ako mapakatulog agad. Binabalikan ko eh. Yung baba, nagkulang ko ng piso. Oh, hindi ko makatulog. Mm-hmm. Binabalikan ko agad. Matutulog. Ay, may utang pala ang mm-hmm. piso. <laughs> Natayo pa ako, babayaran ko siya. Yeah. Literal. Yeah. Number four. Number four, keep paying paid off debt to your deposit. Mm-hmm. So, sinasabi nila dito na if you were able to settle a 20,000 debt within a year, doesn't that also mean you can save the same 20,000 in a year? Tama. Oo. Ako ganun. Meron ako yung, ano, ang tawag ko sa kanya, 10 peso a day, Christmas, ano ko yun, savings. Mm. Malaki din siya pagdating ng Pasko. Start ako ng January 1 hanggang Christmas yun. O, yun yung mga pangrigalo ko sa mga inaanak. O, kaya meron ako yung mga bote-bote nga, ganun. Hindi na sa bangko, kasi pag sa bangko, na we withdraw eh. Oo nga. Eh, yung pagka sa bote, nahihiya akong papalit kasi puro coins. 
<laughs> yung pagka napuno na lang siya, yung pwede mo na din sa bangko, papadit. <laughs> Kasi puno na eh. Oo, oh, yung ganun. Proud ka pa, nakapuno ka. Pero gusto mm-hmm. nila yun, yung mga bangko. Oo, oh, oh. ang bilis nga, pinapalitan nila. Mm-hmm. Tapos sabihin sa'yo, bilangin mo muna. Ay, hindi kayo na magbilang, kaya nyo na yan. <laughs> <laughs> yun lang problema mm. eh, ikaw pa pabibila. Correct. Ay, minsan na umaabot din ng ano, 6, ganun, 7,000. Ay, oh, ako hindi. masama. 500. For a year. Okay, number 5. Number 5, contribute to SSS if you haven't started. You can be a member for as low as 100 pesos per month. Okay. Aside from receiving pension upon retirement, you can claim an allowance paid for the number of days you are unable to work. due to sickness or injury. In short, may benefits. Mm-mm, tama. Oo. Oh, oh. Yung mga tricycle driver nga sa amin, meron ano, SSS. 100 a month lang <laughs> daw. Tapos yung nak- naka-, naka six months sa sila, lahat sila nag-loan. Ayun, baon sa utang. <laughs> <laughs> Yun lang. Bayad na naman. Boom. Hindi nga, dapat ano talaga, no? Ingat tayo sa paghihirap ng pera. Number six at panghuli natin. Contribute to Pag-ibig to. Ah, si Ate Jen, oo, oh, may big sa pag-ibig yan. <laughs> Wala ako, ha? Huh? May forever? Yeah. Yan, yeah. oh. Yan, oh. Sa Ika- kanila. Uy, <laughs> <laughs> ingatan niyo si Ate Jen, malapit naman na kitchen, nagtitirin ka sa isa-isa, oh. Ay. <laughs> oo. Nakakatakot. Stress ako, eh. <laughs> Na-stress ka mo. Natakot ako sa iyo, Ate Jen. Ba't ba tinitirin, tapos naman inipis yung buhok mo? <laughs> Kasi si Kami na stress ako, eh. Nakakadami ka na dyan. <laughs> O, paano nga ba pag-contribute sa pag-ibig? Becoming a member serves you two purposes. One is to get your, uh, to loan your future home. Wala ko niyan. And second, you can avail of pag-ibig savings program. As an alternative to a savings account, you can start building your future wealth with a minimum of 200 pesos a month. Wala pa Oo, alam mo kamuha ka niyan, Ate Jen, habang bata ka pa. Kasi pwede ka na mag-loan ng, ano, ng, ng housing loan. Tapos... Mako-compute pa yan ng 25 years kasi bata ka pa. Hindi ka tulad ko, pag ako nag-avail ngayon ng pag-ibig, <laughs> oo, baka 5 years. Hindi na ba kaya na 25? Oo, kasi kung 2 kung million yung ilo-loan mo, pag mo sa 25 years yon parang ano lang yon 8,000 a month lang babayaran mo sa kanila. Oh, oo, kaysa nagre-rent years. ka, di ba? Mm. yun. Mm-mm. <laughs> oh, five years Uh-oh. na lang din. Kasi kaya, kaya pwede pa i-compute sa'yo ng 25 years kasi you're still young. Mm. Oh, yung mga nagtatrabaho ngayon, ano, mag-avail na kayo ng pag-ibig ninyo para by the time you reach 30 years old, may ipon na kayong konti kasi syempre you have to make down payment apo, din. Ano. Ayan, saka kayo mag-avail ng housing loan, pwede pa i-compute ng 25 years. So, mababa pa yung monthly ninyo. So, kung isipin niyo kung nagre-renta yung pamilya niyo na ng 10,000 a month sa isang apartment, tapos kumuha ka ng housing loan sa pag-ibig, yung hulog ninyo na 10,000 sa apartment, pambayad na ng pag-ibig niyo. Di ba? May bahay na kayo. Yes, yeah, sarili pa. Sarili pa. Di ba? Kahit anong gawin yung renovation dyan, gawin yung third floor, fourth floor, wag lang building. Oo, di ba? <laughs> Di building uh, to. Kada pala pag tag-iisa kayo magkakapatid. Wow, so sure. Mm. Ayan. So, ayan, ga, uh, habang kayo nagkatrabaho at bata pa, i-avail nito yung mga, ano na to, SSS, pag-ibig, GSIS, di ba? Para sa inyong future. Okay. So, Ate Jen, tuloy-tuloy lang, ha? Yang. Mm-mm. Para Uh-oh. naman, kasi baka umasa ka lang yung kay Siman, di ba? <laughs> pag pagpaba, bibila ka ka agad ng bahay. Bahay, hindi ah. Agad-agad. Agad. Hindi agad. Mm, pa nga kasal. Kaya, hindi pa nga siya sagot. <laughs> nga eh. Agad okay, agad. maraming salamat sa iyo, Jay. Jay. Yeah, thank you, Mama Ayan, Ayan, sa Sana kayo may napulot na tip kay Jay kung paano mag-impon. Sana. Mm-mm. Si Jay ng ICCT. College. So I guess that's about it and hope to hear your thoughts on this podcast and once again you're listening to this podcast on either Spotify, Anchor, Apple Music, uh, Apple uh, Podcasts, uh, iTunes Podcast, Google Podcasts, name it Anchor is supporting uh, content creators for this one and I'm really thankful that I'm with anchor and it will stay it will stay so yeah that's it for me if you want to see me in person i will be hosting the otaku musica festival idol concert 
at around 3.30 p.m. on uh, Sunday, uh, September 23 at Chendecitas Pasig. So, I'll be seeing you there. And with that, my name is Jay. This has been Keepsakes, the podcast, and have a great day.